A Feed and an Arcanist. Working together. Nightmares will not deter me, Demon Fawn. Stay your sermons, I won't be swayed. What is up guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to play your name in Season 13. So we are starting off with the Doran Shield here and also have second win in the runes. That's something you want to be doing against poor KV matchups. I think it's a GP mid and he'll be poking a lot with his Q so that sustain is going to help us out a lot. We're starting off with the Q on your name. It's our low cooldown damaging ability and just trying to last hit here. And the good thing here is that when you have lethal tempo, your Q cooldown scales off of attack speed. So if people try to fight you level 1, you should be able to win a lot of the fights. They do not. Or they should be expecting that, but some people don't. Like this gang playing and yeah, sometimes it can result in a betrayed. And maybe you might even be able to pick up a kill like I did right here with the um, Q flash. I got a quick kill early on and that's why you're running lethal tempo because Yone is a scaling champion. He's super strong in the mid to late game, but his early game is the weakest part of it. So by having lethal tempo, which is an early game focus keystone, you sort of like balance out his weakness. What is W? Damaging a cone in front and also gives you a shield. So this is great for nullifying incoming damage and it also scales off of HP so something like a Sion and a Cho'Gath when they get lots of HP later on they start dealing a lot of damage and then the Q once you have the stack of course this dash here that I missed early on both your W and your Q scales down with attack speed that's a cap but that makes attack speed really OP on this champion and that is why you always get Berserkers and other, you know, attack speed heavy items. Has to be careful that we are not getting ganked just because our summoners are down. And your E, when you use it, is going to be like a short dash where you leave your main form and go into this spirit form here. And it's sort of like a Z ultimate where it's going to store some of the damage that you're dealing. And then when you E out, make sure you're unstoppable on the way back. It's going to detonate and dealing some of that damage again. So sort of like a mini Z ultimate. The thing here is that when you go into that E and you damage an enemy champion, there's going to be like this mark on them. You can see this red mark. If he's getting executed or he's within execution range, then this mark is going to split and turn black. So that way you know when you can E out and get the kill instantly. But sometimes they can try to bait you by healing or shielding or something right before you're Eing out. In that case they can survive. But it's a super useful thing knowing about that mark that gets cut in half and turning black when they are within execution range. But just Try to poke as much as possible here, your E is like your main way of trading. You can use the first part over walls, like stuff like this, and then you can also E out. Remember the way back makes you unstoppable, so it's going to cancel out CC if they throw it at you. But you want to be able to trade with your E up, because that's where most of your damage is at. Pretty low HP here, our E is coming up. Hopefully he dies. Yeah, he does. Nice. But you can see that E can really cover such a massive distance. I was thinking about using the ultimate out, but we good, we good. So the ultimate is another engage ability you have. This chairman has a lot of mixed damage because of the passive, right? So even your ultimate also deals mixed damage, but it's an engage ability that has to channel. For a little bit 
and then it's going to make you dash forward and every target you hit is going to be knocked with you towards the last target so this is very OP for engaging but at the same time it does have a delay so if they're not CC'd before you use this ultimate they have a very easy chance to dodge it so what I like to do is that I use the Q knock up and then combine that with the ultimate because then they will get chain CC'd meaning there is zero chance of them dodging the ult This ultimate can be used as a gap closer, but also just for damage. Like you can use it in multiple different ways. Usually you should be using it to um, for damage though. Just trying to um, last save with Q here, trying to get it stacked up. Once the Q is ready to go, you can just engage. Get a great trade off and then E out. You can see free poke damage and this is how you want to trade it with your name. The ultimate is something you can use when you can all in the target. But try to combine it with the knock up on the Q guys. That's a lot easier to hit the ultimate because it's a skill shot with delay to it. One down. You can Q over here if the chickens are alive. He's down. Oh, I need to get out. Luckily we have the Nautilus with us. We can go in. Hit him. Nice. So another thing here is that your ultimate also sort of makes you unstoppable. You can still get displaced while you're channeling, but your ultimate is going to get through no matter what. So that can also be used to counter CC. It is not as effective as your E when you recast it though. But it can still be used for that purpose. But he has two ways to like cancel out CC. And his top side, oh it's Pike. He does not have the flash up, I should probably ping it. Hopefully my bot lane can survive. So I like to get the Blade of the Rune King here because it makes your early game super super strong. And also they have tanks on their team guys so it's even better to get this game. They have a Cho'Gath, they have Scion. So this item, on top of giving you lots of damage, attack speed. You also get the sustain. And it also sort of makes you a hyper carry, because once you get to the point where you get full crit with the shield bow and the infinity edge, you have one more heavy damaging item with the Blade of the Ruined King. Pushing out here, and we can see if we can help out the team. Nobody's coming, I'm just gonna get some damage off on the tower. Maybe we can get another plate. Honestly, not sure what's up with these pings, but I guess it's fine. You can really be annoying on this champion, guys. Like, this champion can be so annoying when he has lethal tempo. And also really difficult to proc those TP barrels when you play against a champion with super high attack speed. Let's see if we can help out the bot lane here. It is looking a bit difficult though, just because... Yeah, that. If you just wait a little bit, then I could probably help him out. But okay. That's a fed Caitlyn, hopefully we can take that shot down later on. Is that a barrel coming in? Should we bait it out? No. Be careful not to waste. He's roaming. Be careful not to waste your E guys. Because it does have a pretty high cooldown early on. Ooh, he's tanking the barrel, okay. The disrespect over there. He made it out alive. So I just keep pushing mid here. I want to try to look for a room bot because that's a massive shot down. I was kind of hoping that will pike and destroy it mid lane that they would somehow get back into the game bot side but that was not enough so we have to look for Rom. Oh he's toast. Oh this man is gone. Looks like he did not learn the first time. It's okay. 
Pack like great engage with the Wukong and the Yone later on, and even the Nautilus as well. So we do have a pretty good team fight. This is a quick combo I do very often. Like I do this all the time. It's a lot easier to do when you sure have enough attack speed. Just consistently play. Like, even though he's a skilling champion, I can highly recommend that you just play as aggressive as possible. That's really how you learn the limit of champions like Yone, Yasuo, Zed, and so on. You have to play super, super aggressive because that is how you learn the limits. Ultimate to finish off this. Made it so I don't have to. I was actually thinking about flashing, but then I realized I don't have it up. But you can use that ultimate instead of your flash, because your flash has a much higher cooldown. Luckily, we are keeping the jungler busy. Ooh. Yeah, that can be a little bit annoying. If you get attacked by CC, it's gonna stop you from recasting your E. Like, it's going to recast no matter what when the timer runs out. But that can be delayed though, if you are caught in CC. But still, it's going to make it, like, it's so, so annoying if you get CC'd. Because the problem is that you have a lot of damage, you also have mobility if you can play around the Q and the E and the ult. But if you get CC'd, it makes it very easy for the opponent to burst you down. And it's going to take almost no time, just because of how squishy you are. They should be waiting for me. Uh, GP coming in, guys. Okay, that's fine. Can we find the GP? Is that a barrel right here? Where did it go? Oh, that's a good ult. Can we get the kill in, please? Oh, if she tried to... Re-engage here, I would have flashed her just because of that shot down right there. I had to yell it instantly, otherwise I would have been dead. Guaranteed. The ARAM has started, I don't have anything up. But hopefully he can make it up. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's so dead, man. What? Sorry guys, but I don't have anything up. I'm sorry. I really want that Caitlyn. Oh, that is so unlucky. That is so unlucky. I did not pay attention to if she used the ultimate or not, so I'm just gonna walk all the way out of vision. But I could have killed the pike right there. I could have killed him. But I really want to get the Caitlyn because she has such a massive bounty that could help me out a lot as well. We'll get her next time. We have spent way too much time in the side lane because of that ARAM, so. I usually, I don't really roam a lot on Yone in the early game, I just like to stay mid, play really aggressive, pressure as much as possible, and then try to force the enemy support and jungler to commit. I hope he wins. Looks like he's winning because he's chasing. Maybe not. Oh, he should win this, unless somebody randomly comes and takes him out. Nice. That's what I like to see. We really need the Mordekaiser to be fed against that team. Because if he can get the right eyes and then just ult somebody with the Lion Wrist as well, they're dead, even the Caitlyn. So he just takes one target completely out of the fight, and that's all we want. Gangplank has the... Oh no. Is that coming in? Is that the pike? I can kill him. But I really want to uh, save my stuff for another gang bot side. Because the kid flashes down. So if you can wait for my ultimate and the Wukong ult. We have to go, we have to go, we have to go. That's a free kill. Hopefully she does not run upside. Yo. Nice, and I got the shot down too. This is what we want to do. This why. If you're fit, guys, even though your champion is not the best at roaming, if you know when you can roam, you can easily shut down the super fat enemy AD carry and turn the game around. Also, you don't always have to like E into the ultimate. 
Because the problem is that the E is going to drag you back at some point. So if you want to stay in the fight, it's a very tanky target that will not get burst down after one engage. Then just ult without using your E if you want to fully commit to the fight. Right, got the tower as well here, so the mid game started. What do you do in the mid game? You go to the side lane. You go to the side lane because it gives you free solo XP and gold, and it also makes it harder for the opponent to escape. Meaning, much higher chances of you being able to find the solo kills. Do I go top? Uh, I guess I'll just go top to help him. I want to go to Silent though, but if he recalls, then I can just be tough. Okay, ultimate coming in. Actually, Chogath or GB could be looking to um, come in after. Oh, nice. Bro, you did not need any of our help. You're all good. You're all good to go. This costed me some XP and CS, but he got a kill, so I guess it's worth it. Now you can take that out. That's a lot of damage. You can see a very squishy champion. Oh my days. Alt? Oh, she does not have it up. That's so sad. That is so sad. Ah, uh, Wukong. This is really terrible for us when this happens because we don't without the Kai'Sa, we don't have range damage. So we have no one who can... We have no one who can hold. Exhaust came out. Oh, somebody still died. Not sure how that happened, but somebody died. We find engage here. Are they camping? Oh, that's so, that's so terrible of me. That was a free kill. Because she did not see that at the start. So even though she had the flash up, if I hit that knock up. I expected her to try to dodge that. So that's why I am like that. But that was still trouble of me. At least the flash is down now. Chill core item. Remember, you get that multiplier on the crit chance you get from the passive. So once you have... Infinity Edge, you have full crit. Ooh, nice flash. Just get out, just get out, guys. Um, the Drake, two minutes. It's a bit annoying for, for some reason, I cannot see on the minimap when it's up. Nice team. Split pushing is what I like to do all the time. But if you're playing against or having a team that just perma a ramps and you think they'll lose the fight, then just leave the sideline and try to group up. There's nothing else you can do because you cannot control the other player. So at some point, if you feel like the a ram is about to start, just be there before it starts. You guys should be coming down. Question is who else? Is the Caitlyn coming too? I feel like the Kaelin might also be coming. But he's not chasing. Okay, that's great. So she has the... F she does not have flash right now, but she has this and she has the E for mobility. That is something I need to keep in mind when engaging, because you can sort of play Yone like an assassin and hyper carry at the same time. It's like a mix of both. And in order to really find the good engages, you have to pay attention to what they have. Yeah, they're coming. Oh my days, I need to get out. Oh my days, what is that? Like, this guy is too tanky for me, so I cannot deal with that. I think actually they're trying to air ram it. Because the Drake is spawning soon, so the team fight is about to start. We need the Mordekaiser with us too. Just poking a little bit and also securing the skull, which is huge. 
He's low HP now, so that just gives us an advantage in the fight, giving some vision here. Be careful when flanking that you don't get flanked yourself. Yeah, this is what I mean. This is what I mean is that if you don't pay attention to um, the enemy players, like Kaelin can just put a trap and then when you get back you're gonna get stuck no matter what. So if we lose this fight, this is completely my fault. As I trolled. And without me, my team cannot do anything. Because they're just gapping us with the comp diff. Like with the team they have, they can just put my ram mid. Oh, you can get the bike? No? Yeah, I'm gonna get this here. We need the Infinity Edge. That is the big spike. Who did I give the shutdown to? Okay, Jogath got it. It's better than Kaelin getting it, but it's still pretty terrible. Kaisa has armor pen, luckily. So many carries tend to not buy it. This is what I mean with Mordekaiser and the Rylas. Like, how do you escape that? Oh, you... I don't think you need to flash it, but okay. Can you start to Q over? Ooh, okay, that was a nice try for sure. I tried to go for the Caitlyn right there because I was dead, but I think I got altered by the Chugath. So that's why I like died instantly. Because I got caught by the trap, but I tried to like find the Caitlyn still. Failed, obviously. Oh, of course she survives. She's so lucky. It's so insane. This is also stuff I do a lot is that when they try to engage onto me, they do not expect me to be the one engaging afterwards. So you can often catch the AD carry or someone else by surprise. In this case, I got the flash out for free or the heal. I also cannot afford to stay. Oh my god, if that hit. If that hit, that would have been a free kill. I think. Have to be careful of the Cho'Gath Predator he has. Really annoying rune. The problem is that I cannot really be split pushing as much as I wanted to. Just because um, I feel like our guys will get caught out pretty easily. With the amount of engage they have. So I'm just trying to heal up right now. Yes. Yeah, she's trying to poke me down. Which is smart, because I am the carry. Little bit of poke here. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, that damage. Look at that. Alright, got the carry. Cannot tank that ultimate. I have to get out, I have to get out. But luckily my team won that, so we can go for the Baron. We should be going for the Baron. You guys, Baron please, please don't end it. Oh my god, they trolled it. Guys, that... Yeah, I'm, I'm not... It's a lot better to go Baron. Like, you could just leave the gang playing and then we would have gotten the Baron. That's going to help us a lot more with the fights. My CS is pretty low, but okay, we won the fight. And you can see, it was really difficult for me to engage, but Nautilus found a good way to get to the lane, so I just followed up. If you have somebody who can CC engage for you, then just wait and let them do their thing. Unless you feel like they're going to fail, then of course, yeah, not much to do about it. But the main target for me is the Caitlyn. If I take her down, they're gonna lose a lot of damage. After we have the Infinity Edge, we should definitely consider getting something defensive, just so we don't get one shot in one second, but we get one shot in two seconds instead. Or burst it down, rather. 
That oh that's top side. You need to go on the Caitlyn. Gale Force is really annoying to play against. It's really annoying. I had this one, so I just want to reset. Hopefully it's winning top. Yes indeed. Nice. Now we need the Drake guys. We also need to sun away the Cho'Gath here because he can just flash over, take the Blast Kanoa and ult. Need to find a way to stop the Cho'Gath. Um, do we have this for it? Everybody's missing, so it's a bit sus suspicious, but it's okay now. So I like to camp like far in the enemy side, like at the points where they usually come to try and ward, try to find a free engage. Now we can go. I got exhausted. But this time, it is not enough. I took down the pike, Pikeronis. That's awesome. We are playing the fights a lot better. We need to help. Kedin's gonna be there. I don't have anything up though. The exhaust is down. Nice ultimate, so we need to help him now. Okay. I was not the one who was supposed to get the uh, Cho'Gath, but... TP Barrel. Okay, nice. We can go for a Barrel now. Now we should go for it. Guys, please. Guys. Please, let's go for the Baron. Two people are down on that team. Guys, hello? My team, can we go for the Baron? I cannot tank it alone, because I'm way too squishy. And I have no clue what changes they made to the Baron. So if I end up getting executed, that is my ex excuse. But it's like really hard to make calls because people don't always listen. And honestly, can't do much other than trying to spam ping them to come and help. If it doesn't work, then yeah, it is what it is. Finally, we got the Baron. It's gonna hold me. Nice. This is the big spike on the Yone, guys. We have that massive, massive full crit spike. So we're just gonna shred even tanks because we have a lot of mixed damage. So we shall keep pushing here. I like to reset. That's the Kaylin. Is she over here? Nope, she's not. You can also just E forward when you like when you think somebody's going to come and gank, but you still want to get some damage off on the tower, for example. Eing forward, or attacking the tower a couple times, then Eing out. I do that very often. And it's a safe way to get some damage off as well. You wanna get the death stance here? Making us a little bit more tanky, so hopefully we can survive the initial. Engage and damage and whatever they have. Plus GP, he was behind, but he's still pretty strong just because he has crit. So if he gets a random crit, then it is a bit doomed for us. My team has to chill for a little bit. I'm just gonna keep pushing here. They made it out, hopefully. Yep, they're fine. So I keep pushing here. And they even got a kill. But Mordecai says that, so... Massive shutdown, going to the GP. I don't mind it going to the GP, just not the Caitlyn man. We need to take down the objectives here, so that's why I'm gonna go this way. Because right now we just con constantly air ramming. That's not what we want to do when we have the Baron. We have to find ways to take down... We need somebody else to come, because I'm about to get flanked. One down. I feel like I would have gotten all of them, but us being a little bit careful just because of the shutdown I have. Like, it's going to make the game way harder if I die. So, just chilling for a bit. We have Baron minions, so we can let them push. Nice. 
nice. Good thing. I wanted to cancel out his Q, but... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, that's my bad, but we got the Caitlyn at least. She got my shot down, but at least she died, so maybe we can still win somehow? Question mark? Oh, we can win this for sure, what? Nice, nice, that's what I like to see. The thing is, if the Caitlyn was alive here, like, that was totally my fault, getting caught. But if the Caitlyn was alive, then she could have carried the fight. Now we can secure another rake. And this is a good rake here because it gives us a lot of damage. So right now we can opt going into more tanky stuff. But yeah, they have Caitlyn, right? So I don't like to get stuff like the Guardian Angel and the Sonyas. Because she just places a, um, a trap. Right on me, and then yeah, it's rip. So we can get the bloodthirster here for more damage. You can also get the Lord Dominix if you feel like you really need it. So if you're struggling a lot more later on in the game, then I might consider selling something to get the Lord Dominix. I don't feel like we need it right now though, because I just need to be able to shred down the Caitlyn as fast as possible. Oh, that's a good engage the Mordecai is looking for. Two people flanking the Caitlyn. The Caitlyn cannot enter the fight. Because she's getting sunned away. Now we need to sun away the Mordecai's or the Chogathas fall. Where's the Caitlyn? Oh, what? He ulted? You see, I don't have any armor pin, but just because I deal a lot of mixed damage. And then. Your E also sort of being a true damage, not completely, but sort of. That actually helps out a lot. And it's also the reason why you don't have to build armor pin on this champion most of the time. Nice. You don't have to hit the Q knock up anymore. Remember, he sent 80 carry, like, sort of like a hyper carry. And I'm I also sitting on 14 kills, so. That's also something. But as long as you can get within range of auto attacking, like you're gonna shred people. Same thing that Trinderman does, you know, and Yasuo. Except with Yone, you have the safe safety thing. We are E, being able to just E out of any danger. Oh, that could use some help. Yeah, it's fine. They're just wasting time trying to um, chase me. Ooh, that's a good engage. Question is, is it enough? I had to E out so I don't tank that GP barrel. Gonna get the inhibitor. Alright, the entire base is down. Now we just have to make sure they are not doing the Baron, that will be a disaster. So I actually think I'll be waiting here for a little bit. So if they try to go for the Baron, it does not look like they are. But well, actually might. Yeah, they actually might, so I'm gonna push here. I don't think uh, he can contest, he can try. Oh my days, they are not going for it, what? Okay, I need to get out. Is the blast gone up? Yeah, we good. We good. Or maybe not. He's still chasing. He's still chasing what? Yeah, really fun. Really fun, guys. And... Yeah, that's a really fun team to play against. Really fun. This is also the type of teams you don't want to pick Yone into when they have so much point and clicks, you see. Like, if they hit you with one thing, you're just dead. You're just dead no matter what. At least they don't have anything left. At least they don't have like anything left in the base, so that should help stall once I'm back. Unless they die here. Ah, uh, Bukang. Okay, flash down. Ooh, okay. Wrong target. Bukang is dead. 
Oh, that's a good hook. Man, that is beautiful. Guys, I think they might be able to end. We have a wave coming in here. Oh, he actually trolled that Cyan ult. What, man? I don't know how that cancelled out, but they could have killed the Kai'Sa. I think it was DP who trolled the Cyan ult. Somehow. Honestly, I have no idea what happened. But they have so much AoE. It's so difficult to play the fights if they group up. But play him like an assassin in the fights where you try to flank. You try to go for the AD carry. Or whoever is fed could also be the mage mid lane. They will be the main target. You take them down and the fight should be won. But that is how you play Yone. Hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching guys and see y'all next time.